Greetings, in the name of our Lord God and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the Holy One of Israel. Today is November 22nd, 2014. Here in this video, I am to share the dream the Lord gave me, pointing me to what I believe to be the Bible prophecy He requires I read out loud for you today. A few nights ago, November 17th, I dreamt I was in my home, which happened to be in Texas in my dream. In my living room was a ginormous bucket of water that spilled over, flooding my entire home. In the next scene, a Mexican couple I didn't know stormed through my front door. And that was pretty much it for the dream. Well, in light of President Obama's most recent executive order, signed November 20th, 2014, whereas he granted amnesty to millions of illegal immigrants, and in light of yesterday's volcanic eruption in Mexico, I believe the Lord may have given me that dream as a forewarning. Due to various calamities, such as volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and or tsunamis, and in conjunction with what appears to be our president's agenda to break down our nation's walls or borders, perhaps we can expect a flood of Mexicans to relocate here. And not just this people group, yet just as Obamacare appears to be the impetus for stealing Americans' wealth, Obama's amnesty to illegal immigrants' executive order may have been the guise so as to let his Islamic terrorist brothers come in and or stay as well. Okay, now for the Bible prophecy I am to read to you, which pertains to the Antichrist. Isaiah 10, verses 12 through 14. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Therefore it shall come to pass, when the Lord has performed all his work on Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, that he will say, I will punish the fruit of the arrogant heart of the king of Assyria, and the glory of his haughty looks. For he says, By the strength of my hand I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am prudent. Also I have removed the boundaries of the people, and have robbed their treasuries. So I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. My hand has found like a nest the riches of the people, and as one gathers eggs that are left, I have gathered all the earth. And there was no one who moved his wing, nor opened his mouth with even a peep. Amen. In closing, I'd like to remind you, now is the appointed time, God's Feast of Trumpets, as he declared to me last August 2013. See my video number 8. We are currently in the initial phase allotted for repentance. However, the first trump will be sounding very soon. So regardless of any pre-, mid-, post-, pan trib rapture beliefs you may hold, just make sure your lamps are full of oil. You love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and simply trust Him to take care of the rest. He'll take each and every one of us at our appointed times, and not one fraction of a second sooner or later. Ah, oh, thank you, dear Lord, and thank you for listening. May our Lord continue to bless and perfect all that concerns you, for His name's sake and glory.